For these ones, I use cotton thread number eight. And for these ones, four ply 100% acrylic yarn. But as you can see, they look much better with um, cotton. So this is the yarn that I use for the acrylic one. It's a four ply. And for these ones, I use this cotton thread number eight. We're going to start by making one magic circle, chain one. Into the magic circle, we are going to make a total of six single crochets. I have two, three, four, five, and six. Close the magic circle, but not too tight. Just like that. And we're going to slip stitch on the first uh, single crochet made. One chain. For the number two, we're going to be making six increases. Okay, continue making four more increases. We are go going to mark the back loop and make the slip stitch taking the front loop of the first single crochet we are going to start making the patterns one two three and four chains yarn over twice Go to the same loop and make one triple crochet. Turn over twice. And one more triple crochet. Turn over twice. And one more triple crochet into the same space. One chain. And we're going to make a slip stitch on top of this stitch here. Turn over twice. We are going to look for the front loop of the next stitch and we're going to make two triple crochets. One, two, three and four chains into the same space, make one slip stitch. And we have one pedal ready. One, two, three and four chains Turn over twice, go to the next front loop, and we are going to make a total of three triple crochets. One chain, and then we do one slip stitch. Finish the pedal making two triple crochets in the next front loop. One, two, three, and four chains. And slip a stitch into the same space. And this is how we're going to be making the pedals. We need to make four more. Finish with one slip stitch here. Then we are going to look for this loop here. Okay, this is the first stitch, so we need to go back one stitch. We are going to make one slip stitch here. One, two, three, and four chains. Yarn over twice. And we are going to make three triple crochets into the same space. One chain and one slip stitch. Yarn over twice and now we go to the stitch to the loop here with the marker. Then make two triple crochets. One, two, three, and four chains. Go back to the same space and make one. And slip a stitch 
Now we're going to be working here in the back loops of the last round. One, two, three, and four chains. Turn over twice. Look for the next loop and make three triple crochets. One, two, and three triple crochets. One chain and make one slip stitch on top of the last triple crochet. Turn over twice, go to the next loop and make two triple crochets. One, two, one, two, three, and four chains. Go back uh, to the same space and make one slip stitch. And this is how we're going to be making the petals, basically just like the first uh, layer, but just taking the back loops over here. So just keep repeating this four more times. We are going to slip a stitch to finish. One chain and we can cut the yarn. Start by making one uh, magic circle, one chain, and then six single crochets. Two, three, four, five, six. Close the magic circle. Make sure to leave a little bit of space here. And a slip a stitch on top of the first single crochet made. Now we're going to make one, two, and three chains, yarn over twice, and we're going to make two triple crochet into the same stitch. One chain, one slip stitch on top of the last triple crochet, and then we're going to make two triple crochet into the next stitch, one two and three chains and make one slip stitch in the same space one two and three chains turn number twice go to the next stitch and make two triple crochets one more triple crochet here one chain and one slip stitch Then we finish the pedal making two triple into the next stitch. One, two, and three chains. And make one slip stitch. And we will repeat this one more time. Finish with three chains. And one slip stitch into the same space. Here, one chain, and we can cut the turn. Now we have the flower ready. Okay, we are going to start by making six single crochet into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five and six close the magic circle just make sure you leave a space here for the stem and slip stitch on the first stitch made for the number two we're going to make six increases okay just continue making four more increases a slip a stitch to join for the number three we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch. And we are going to place a marker here in the back loop of the first single crochet. Make the slip stitch on the front loop. Now we're going to make one 
two, three, four, five, and six. Beginning at the second chain from the hook, one slip stitch, one single crochet, one single crochet. one single crochet and one single crochet we are going to skip one stitch and in the next one taking the front loop make one slip stitch one two three four five and six on the second chain make one slip stitch and then we are going to make a uh, four single crochets one two three and four we're going to skip one stitch and taking the front loop make one slip stitch and you're going to repeat this four more times and we are going to make the slip stitch here where we started Okay, now we, with white color, we're going back to this stitch here and we're going to make one single crochet. And then we are going directly here to the stitch with the marker. Make one single crochet here. And we are going to continue making one single crochet in each of the back loops. At the end, we should have 12 single crochets. Okay, I finished with the slip stitch. Now for the round six and seven, we are going to make one single crochet in each stitch around. At the end, we should have 12 single crochets. I will make this round and one more and I will be back with you. We're going to slip a stitch and I have my three rounds here with single crochet. For the next one is the number eight. We are going to make two single crochets and then one decrease. The decreases are taking the front loop of the stitches. One, two, and one decrease. Okay, just repeat this one more time. You make one slip stitch on top of the first single crochet. For the number nine, one chain, go back to the same space and make one single crochet, one single crochet in the next. And then we are going to make one decrease, taking the front loops of the stitches. One single crochet, one single crochet, and then one decrease. A slip a stitch on top of the first uh, single crochet made. We are going to start by making one magic circle, one chain, and then into the magic circle, make a total of six single crochets. Close the magic circle, making sure you leave enough space for the stem. Slip a stitch on, the, on top of the first single crochet made. For the round number two, we are going to make six increases. Round number three, 
make one single crochet in each stitch around okay for the next uh, round number four one two three four five and six chains beginning in the second chain from the hook make one slip stitch one single crochet one single crochet one single crochet and in the last make one half double crochet we are going to skip one stitch in the next make one slip stitch one two three four five and six a slip stitch in the second chain then three single crochets one two three and then one half double crochet in the next uh, in the last uh, chain skip one stitching slip stitch in the next you need to repeat this four more times a slip stitch to finish we're going to make one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen then you're going to grab the wire this is 22 gauge and we are going to make one more chain here 15 chains beginning in the second chain from the hook make one single crochet half double crochet in the next and then we're going to make a total of nine double crochets i have nine double crochets in the next chain one half double crochet single crochet and in the last chain we are going to make a total of three single crochets one two three four and three we are going to place a marker in the middle then we're going to fold the wire and we're going to start working in the opposite side with one single crochet half double crochet and then we're going to make a total of nine double crochets and we're going to be hiding this tail along the way we are going to make one half double crochet and one single crochet then we're going to slip a stitch here in the first single crochet and for the second round chain one go back to the same space and make one single crochet and we are going to continue making one single crochet in each stitch all the way to the marker and remove the marker and in this stitch here we are going to make one single crochet one chain and one slip stitch on top of taking these loops here and make one more single crochet into the same space now we're going to finish making one single crochet in each stitch to the end the way here a slip a stitch to join one chain and then we are going to pass these two wires here
have the pistils here and I will fold it in half. And with the hook, we are going to pass it through the magic circle here. Then we can cut the wire. And we are going to add hot glue here. Then we are going to pass the stem here in the magic circle. Then we are going to fold a little bit this wire here. Then we are going to add enough of the hot glue. And we can place the small petals. And we are going to let it dry and then we are going to add the, this part Okay, now we're going to start wrapping the stem here. Then we are going to add the first thumb flower. I think we are going to add one more of these. Then we can add or attach attach the leaves. And then one more flower here. And then we can add this some. Um, other piece here and the last you are going to be arranging these flowers and the leaves any way you like it since we use wire for the leaves and for the flowers it's easy to manage them thank you so much for watching my videos don't forget to subscribe give us a like and share on your social media 
and I hope the process was clear to you. Any questions, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you and have a wonderful day.